And the pilgrimage is like uh, a place of prayer identified by a religious organization or religious uh, leader, in this case, Mom, I identified Bura because Bura has a historical relationship with our faith. As early as uh, 1880s, when the missionaries came to Mombasa, they put their first foot in Mombasa. And even as early as 16th, 17th century, they stayed in Mombasa. But as the time went on, in 1992, they moved on Interland. And Interland ends as, as far as uh, Bura, and this is a place they actually bought the slaves that were being sold in the marketplace and released them, made them free. So it's a place of hope. In fact, the, the shrine is called Our Lady of, of Hope, Bikira Maria um, Wamatumaini, because of these slaves who had hope. When you go there, you find two statues, one of Our Lady facing the road and like saying, Karibuni, welcome, and these are the slaves who have been bought out by the early missionaries, fighting against, again, oppression, slavery. And number two, they'll find another statue of uh, St. Joseph at the corner, who watches Our Lady doing our work, as it were, the relationship in the family, where we, as a family, we go there to present our issues. Kenyans, just be Kenyans. We are fighting against corruption. We can never forget this, because as we talk about the, uh, the coronavirus, we have our own corona, which is, uh, has been kind of literally killing our people out of misery, no medicine, no school, no nothing. And it must be fought also with, with zeal by let's be truthful, let's be honest, let's be transparent. All those of us who are working with particular places where money seems to be exchanging and just say this time, no, stop it. And I must say thank you very much for all of us and as Kenyans, Lenten period is a moment to recall we need to change where we need to change. Kwa hayo machache asanteni na mungu wa bariki nchietu.